Welcome back to our reinsurance point of view review series. Today our guest is Rob O'Hara. Rob is senior client manager and actuary at Swiss Re. He has been with Swiss Re for over 12 years. He has uh, served in different roles, including uh, valuation, financial reporting, and enforce management. Rob, in your experience, uh, what are the ways that reinsurance companies can provide um, help and support value to their clients in life and health uh, industry? Yeah, first of all, Eve, uh, thank you for the introduction and I'm happy to be here. So, um, you know, you know, there are a few, there are certainly many ways that reinsurance companies like Swiss Re can provide value to their clients. I'll focus on three key areas uh, based on my experience. The first of those I would say is probably what most people think of when they think of reinsurance, which is traditional um, risk transfer on new or flow business. So as companies issue or write new policies, they often have reinsurance treaties or agreements in place whereby a portion of that liability is ceded to one or more commonly multiple um, reinsurers. So that allows them to get some of the risk off of their own balance sheet, as well as take some level of reserve credit, depending on the structure of that reinsurance. And then along with those treaties, reinsurers usually offer other services, including support on things like product development, assumption setting, underwriting, as well as capacity for high face amount cases. And then, so the, the second way that, that I would, or the second area reinsurers provide value would be in what I would refer to as the structure and solution space, where Essentially, these are reinsurance transactions that can be customized um, to really meet the specific needs and objectives of our clients. And those needs can range anywhere from increasing a company's capital or liquidity position for growth, um, reducing earnings volatility, or improving a company's solvency ratio. And to just give you a sense of sort of the magnitude there, at Swiss Re, we've helped uh, our clients execute over 90 such of those transactions in the last 10 years. And then the third way I would reference would be um, what I call in the solution space. So you can think of these as tools or, or platforms that reinsurance companies develop that their clients can access to more effectively and efficiently manage some part of their business. And those can really be directed towards any part of the insurance value chain, ranging from new business sales to underwriting to enforced portfolio optimization, all the way through to the claims payout process. And two examples of those at Swiss Re would be our underwriting um, manual called Life Guide, as well as our automated underwriting engine called Magnum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since you mentioned the past 10 years, so what are the biggest uh, changes you observed in the past 10 years in reinsurance industry? Yeah, certainly a lot of changes in, in my 12 plus years in the industry. I would say there's certainly two that stick out uh, to me. The first one of those would be how the underwriting journey for life insurance has evolved. A lot of that has been spurred by the addition of new digital data sources that companies are able to use to replace some of the more traditional um, requirements. Uh, I think COVID did accelerate this where it was became much, much more difficult to access some of those rec traditional requirements like labs and exams. And to me, this is something that COVID accelerated. However, the industry was moving this way already. And ultimately, it should be something that should really benefit our end customers and make the underwriting process quicker, less invasive, and more customer friendly. And then the second way, or the second thing I would highlight would be all of the M&A and block sale activity that we've seen over the last five to seven years. There's been a clear shift towards companies uh, moving to more capital and balance sheet light models. And along with that, there's been a lot of new entrants to the reinsurance market. A lot of these companies backed by private equity firms. And for more traditional reinsurance companies like Swiss Re, it's been really important for us to find how we operate and provide value in that environment, which has been a clear focus for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and insights. Thanks, Eve.